got a little bit of a, uh, a similarity to yours. Uh, years ago, when I first moved to Boise, it's more than 10 years ago, I moved to Boise, one of Boise's most interesting properties. It's downtown Boise on the Basque block. Uh, there are Basque folks in the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's Boise. So uh, behind the old Cyrus Jacobs Uber Aga house, there's a, there's a carriage house uh, across from Bartonet. I rented that carriage house. So I was the sole occupant of about a, a sole block of downtown Boise. <laughs> and uh, it was a really cool house. I learned more in a couple of years of living there than I could have ever imagined uh, about Basque culture and Basque way of life and Basque, Basque presence in, in Idaho. But uh, my wife, or my girlfriend at the time, uh, and I went away for a Memorial Day weekend. My now wife, sitting up here on the hill, um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, uh, we went away for a three-day weekend, and I dropped her off at her house, and I left my cell phone there, and I went home. And, uh, and it was a, a cold, rainy spring evening, like we've had numerous uh, of this spring. And um, um, I woke up at three-ish in the morning to shouting inside my house. You guys can imagine the chill that would go up your spine to hearing when you're, you live alone and you hear shouting inside your house. And, uh, and I sat up and I thought, I'm not hearing this. And then I heard it again. And then I heard the door to the stairs open. And I lived on the second floor of a two story building. And I heard steps coming up this, um, or I saw, heard footsteps coming up and the soft in and out hush of breaths. So, there was a wolf in the lion's den, or however, whatever, how do I fit that in the night's theme? Is that, is this, this is my moment to do that, right? <laughs> but I was scared, uh, as you might imagine. And, uh, but, but instinct took over, and, uh, and I had a guttural push of emotion, and I sprang from the bed, and I ran to the top of the steps, and I peered in. To enough to surmise that the person who was coming up those stairs wasn't armed, and I jumped into the stairs and shouted with everything I had, and I forced that person down. I backed him, it was a him, I backed him down the stairs into what was the kitchen, out into the front entryway, out through the front door. I flipped the, the lock on the front door, and it was he and I out in the rain, door locked. Me, Buck Baby. <laughs> With a total stranger who had just broken into my house. And here's where it gets weird. <laughs> this guy, I, I, I had been eye to eye enough with him at this, at this time to, to smell his breath. He had a lot of whiskey on him or something like that. And, uh, and clearly maybe a, a few other things. So I wasn't totally threatened by him anymore. Um, but we were outside together and I wasn't gonna go fish out my hide key and go back inside and be like, <laughs> have at it. <laughs> so it, we started shooting the shit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he wanted to play army games. <laughs> He wanted me to cover him while he ran through the rain to the next corner of the next building. <laughs> and he goes, all right, cover me. And so I stood like that <laughs> and he ran to the corner of the building. And then he's crouched and he goes, go, go, go. <laughs> So I ran over the next time, <laughs> and I sat next to him. <laughs> At that point, we were underneath the covered front porch of the uh, Cyrus Jacobs house. You guys understand that, that house that's in, across from Bardenay? It's got a nice covered porch. And there's, there are wood benches around the outside. It's three in the morning on Memorial, on the Memorial Day Monday. There's nobody in downtown. My cell phone's at my girlfriend's house. And uh, so he and I sat on a bench and had a little heart to heart. Uh, he was, I, I don't need, probably don't need to go into details. He was not a very happy person. And, uh, um, and the story, I mean, I, I suppose to fast forward, 
he he did he ended up going to jail that night uh, <laughs> uh, and not to believe the point <laughs> it was it was a surreal evening um, that has become chapter three of a novel that I've written uh, uh, a mystery that's set in Boise and downtown uh, downtown Boise in southwest Idaho it's, thank you thank you very much is a six-year-long project. It's called Deception at the Diamond D Ranch. Uh, you can get it rediscovered downtown. <laughs> but uh, uh, and, and it's obviously been highly fictionalized. But the emotional core of what I just relayed to you uh, that, that remains. But uh, yeah, a, uh, a, a lion and the wolf stand, or the wolf and the lion stand, or however you put it. Thank you.